Hello everyone. Welcome to this series, The Story of Idioms. And this video is the third part of the sequence, How is your health? And today's story is A Day in the Life of Max. So let's start. Max was always known as a calm and composed individual, but today was different. He sat in his office, reading the email from his boss. He could literally feel his blood boil. The company was going through tough times. And despite all the hard work Max had put in, the project he had poured his heart into was getting cancelled. After taking a few deep breaths, Max decided it was time to get his life back on track. He had always been fit as a fiddle, but the stress had taken a toll on his health. He looked in the mirror and realized he needed to make some changes. The first step was to get back on his feet, both physically and mentally. Max remembered how gardening always made him feel at peace. He had a bit of a green thumb and the thought of nurturing plants gave him a sense of control and calm. He decided to spend the weekend in his garden, hoping that the physical activity and the connection with nature would help him clear his mind. The weekend passed and Max returned to work with renewed energy. His plan was working, he was starting to feel more like himself again. But just as the things were looking up, he received another message, this time from company's HR department, asking him to undergo surgery to fix an old shoulder injury. Max had been putting off the procedure for months, but now he had to go under the knife. The night before the surgery, Max started to get cold feet. He wasn't scared of the surgery itself, but worried about how long it would take to recover? What if he couldn't get back to his routine quickly? What if things at work spiraled out of control in his absence? The next morning, Max decided to go cold turkey on all his worries. He shut off his phone, took a deep breath and walked into the hospital with a clear mind. The surgery went smoothly and before long, Max was back home, determined to recover as quickly as possible. As he laid in bed, he realized he hadn't spoken much since the surgery. When his sister called to check on him, Max found he could barely speak. He had a frog in his throat. It was probably just nerves, but it made him feel even more out of sorts. His sister, always the joker, teased him. Maybe you've got a screw loose too. Despite the hiccup, Max recovered well. He was back to work in no time. His mind and body both healed. The new project he was assigned fit like a glove with his skills and interests. And soon, Max was leading his team to new heights. He had gone through a rough patch, but had come out stronger on the other side, ready to take on whatever life threw at him next. So this was today's story. Now let us study the idioms that were made bold in the story. Feel one's blood boil, meaning to become very angry. Sentence when Sarah saw the unfair treatment of her friend, she could feel her blood boil. Fit as a fiddle, meaning to be in very good health. Sentence Even at 70, Mr. Johnson is as fit as a fiddle and goes for a jog every morning. Fit like a glove, meaning to be the perfect size and shape for someone or something. Sentence The new software fit like a glove with our existing systems. 
making the transition smooth and easy get back on one's feet meaning to recover especially after an illness difficulty or setback sentence after the accident it took john several months to get back on his feet but now he is stronger than ever get back on track meaning to return to the correct course of action after a problem or interruption sentence after a brief delay the team managed to get back on track and complete the project on time get cold feet meaning to become nervous or anxious about something often causing a change in decision sentence julia was excited about her skydiving adventure but she got cold feet right before jumping out of the plane go cold turkey meaning to suddenly stop doing something especially a bad habit sentence after years of smoking dave decided to go cold turkey and quit once and for all go under knife meaning to have surgery sentence after months of pain laura finally decided to go under the knife to fix her knee green thumb meaning a natural talent for gardening sentence my grandmother has such a green thumb everything she plants seems to flourish have a frog in one's throat meaning to have difficulty speaking clearly often because of sore throat or nervousness sentence during the presentation tom had a frog in his throat and had to clear his voice several times have a screw loose meaning to behave strangely or to have unusual ideas often implying a lack of sanity sentence when mark started talking about his plans to build a rocket in his backyard we wondered if he had a screw loose so this was today's story on idioms we will meet in the next video and discuss some more idioms until then goodbye and thank you